Infamous Second Son brought to light a bunch of different kinds of superpower elements I had never previously thought of, but are really cool, like smoke, neon, video, and glass. And that stirred up some ideas in the Pokemon community, which means me, as to how those abilities might translate into Pokemon types. The results are of varying quality, and I'm here to dissect and present them to you for analysis. They'll receive a thorough examination and rating out of 10 when all's said and done in terms of how effectively they can be integrated into the Unbound world of Pokemon. Oh, it's gonna be a super fun time. Let's start with Smoke. Smoke is the first ability Delson Rowe acquires in Second Son, who at the end of his evil side of the story, let's recall, destroys an entire reservation full of dying Native Americans, all while wearing a beanie. It's not really important to this, I just laugh when I think about it. Oh, spoiler alert, for those of you who are a year and a half late. Smoke would be a bit redundant as a standalone type, being essentially a combination of fire and poison. A better way to incorporate the idea would be to introduce a dual type move like Flying Press, but with fire and poison, and name it like Smoke Tornado or Smoke Bomb or Smoke Weed Every Day or something. Maybe even introduce a fire poison type Pokemon and make it its signature move like they did with Halucha. Smoke gets a 5 out of 10 when it comes to integration into the Pokemon universe because my ideas are terrific, but make little difference in the grand scheme of things. Neon. Delson gets the Neon ability from Fetch Walker before sleeping with her if you're evil. Personally, I think that decision should be karma irrelevant, but I didn't make this game, did I? Neon would be tough to move to the world of Pokemon. For one, it would have to be a good idea, which it most certainly isn't. The fairy type was a smooth transition because not only did they make new fairy type Pokemon, they added the fairy type to existing Pokemon that exhibited those traits. Ain't no Pokemon alive today could pass for a Neon type. Except maybe Rotom, but given the fact that electricity is needed to power Neon, it faces the same redundancy issue as Smoke, only worse because it also just sucks. It works well in Infamous, even if it's very quickly outclassed by video, and that's where it should stay, which makes me give Neon a 1 out of 10, and that 1 is basically just a participation award. Video. Delson gets the video ability from Eugene Sims, a dweeb recluse who definitely does not play for the St. Louis Rams and totally shouldn't be as awesomely powerful as he is. He has angels and demons fight battles for him, which basically makes him God and Satan at the same time. No one man should have all that power especially one who wears prescription sunglasses. I say video, and I already know what Pokemon you're thinking of. Porygon, Porygon 2, and Dragon Ball Z. And the type does seem to fit, but as far as finding matchups for all the other types, I have no idea what the hell video would be super effective or not very effective against. Uh, TV rots your brain, so maybe it's good against Psychic? And water definitely wrecks electronics. Fire does too. Throwing rocks at your TV would hurt it, so would putting it in the freezer, karate chopping it, turning it dark by cutting off its power source, overcharging it with electricity, letting a tree fall on it, burying it in the ground, slashing it with a steel sword, letting a spirit haunt it, or birds peck at it, bugs ruin it with their slime, dragons absolutely demolish it, poison it with a virus. So basically it's good against psychic and weak to everything else. Video gets a 3 out of 10, because three Pokemon could be that type, but then the entire rest of the Pokemon species would kill them all. Concrete. Delson gets the Concrete ability after choosing to either kill or murder Augustine at the end of the game. She needs to die either way, I don't care what your karma is. If Concrete sounds like a completely bogus idea when we've already got rock and ground types, that's cause it is. Okay guys, I need ideas for new Concrete type Pokemon. Um, how about a Geodude made out of the sidewalk? Would we really need another hard substance for fighting types to break in half? I think Ice Rock and Steel have the job covered. Um, I have an idea for a new dual type Pokemon. It's part rock and part concrete. Um, we could like take some boulders from the mountains and then fuse them with part of this foreclosed house. Concrete gets a 2 out of 10 for being possible but stupid. Paper. You never actually get paper as a power-up, and if you've never heard of it, it's because you didn't hear the voice recording that you only get if you play the Paper Trail free DLC missions. That recording tells of many cool possible superpowers that you will never see in your entire life because Sucker Punch has no interest in making our dreams a reality. I can actually mildly hypothesize some logical type matchups were paper ever to enter the Pokemon landscape. It would be good against rock because paper always beats rock, and good against grass and flying because littering kills the environment and makes birds choke to death. You wouldn't really be able to turn any existing Pokemon into paper types though, so you'd have to rely on just making new ones. The fact that I can think about this logically means paper wouldn't be a terrible idea, just kind of unrealistic in terms of the biology of Pokemon and the themes surrounding them. Paper gets a 7 out of 10 for being so far the closest to be considered an actual possibility. Wire. 
only barely glossed over in the recording. Wire is a superpower that would not integrate well at all into Pokemon. I can just imagine the chain link fence Pokemon with keep out signs for eyes and a no trespassing sign above its crotch. Zero out of ten would not bang. Glass. And now we're back into the realm of mild possibility. The most familiar types of glass are made of silica, the primary compound in sand, and since heating sand creates glass and lightning strikes on the beach leave glass lumps, a glass-type Pokemon would be resistant to fire, electric, and ground, among whatever else you'd want to think of. I could also see it being super effective against Psychic and Fairy, since telekinetic attacks would bounce right off of it, and fairies are typically held prisoner in glass cages or bottles. Eh, yeah, smart thinker, that's me. Sure, it would be yet another thing weak to fighting, but at this point, what isn't? The problem with these sort of material-based Pokémon would be the lack of diversity possible. Like, every glass Pokémon would have to look like it's made of glass, whereas dark types and psychic types and fairies and whatnot can look like basically whatever they want. I'll still give glass a 7 out of 10, though, because I do think it can compete with paper. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I looked online extensively for any information regarding whether or not I forgot any superpowers from the lore, but weirdly found no dedicated forums on the subject. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, I do hope you'll like it, share it, and subscribe to me, the dashing gentleman who made it all possible. I'll see you next time.